In about 90 minutes, leaders in Gaston County could decide whether to move this Confederate statue. It's been at the entrance of the courthouse for a century. And this is an issue our Gaston County Bureau reporter Ken Lemon has been following for months now. He's live back at the courthouse in Gastonia where we are hearing commissioners will meet for that big vote tonight. Ken? Yeah, and here is that monument right behind me, three stories high above commissioners when they make that vote. That vote, a reversal of sorts a week ago. They said this is an issue that should be on the ballot. Then a couple of days later, the chairman of the board of commissioners, he said he thinks there's enough votes to remove it. This morning, law enforcement surveyed the area, preparing for anything that could happen at the controversial monument today. Gaston County freedom fighters aren't threatening action yeah. against the monument, but they rally to have the monument removed by commissioners. It represents Jim Crow and the way that they were trying to keep blacks in their place. Member Kimberly Hallis says she won't believe it's coming down until she sees it. She told me there were peaceful protests from the start. It became shouting matches between protesters and counter protesters. Hallis said commissioners created a committee that suggested removal and commissioners did not follow Those the committee's recommendations. She said the board could have voted long Keep ago. Now she worries they won't vote to remove it. We want to believe that our commissioners have seen the light. Some believe the board will remove the monument and give it to the sons of Confederate veterans. Then they will put it on private property in a prominent location the way they did with this spot on Highway 321, welcoming visitors to North Carolina. That can add more division to this county. Others like Charles Roseberry hope tonight they can convince the board to keep the monument where it stands. I just want it to stay up based on the history of our monument, not based on what people think. Before the vote, commissioners expect to hear from day, some monument supporters. Do not move this monument because you are starting something far more dangerous. Their decisions were not meant to be evil. Now, one woman sent a message to the county manager earlier today saying that this monument, if it's voted down, should be removed, shouldn't stay up another day. I spoke to Commissioner Chad Brown several weeks ago when we talked. He said it should stay here as a history lesson. Today, he was a bit more conflicted about what should happen with this next.